I want to start this as lighthearted as possible. Can sure. you still believe we're talking about this? Uh, honestly, I cannot. I'm in a murder trial uh, that I'm taking a break from to uh, answer your questions regarding uh, any social media uh, things that I actually do post or do not post. So. Um, and, and, you know, I wanted to make sure that I touched on that as well. How, you know, how difficult is it, A, running back and forth between two capital murder trials, and then to have this distraction on top of it? Um, for me, it's not a distraction. Uh, and just for the record, uh, one of them is, is kind of holding off or picking a jury in the other case. Uh, that's the capital murder with Arturo Garza. Uh, but on this case, we're actually in trial, uh, and I'm having to uh, answer questions. Uh, real news should be about getting justice for Mr. Torres, uh, or our, our task force just hit a load, maybe two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars taking drug money off the streets. Uh, but yet, everybody wants to know what a hashtag may mean. Do you understand where, and, and you know, because I, sure. you know, I'll admit, I'm not a George Lopez fan. I, I watched his original show on ABC when I was a kid, wasn't a fan. Sure. So I don't, I, I did not know that meaning until. Do you understand where the police are coming from? Though? Because, I mean, you look on Twitter, you look on Google, and one of the first things that comes up as a meaning for that is, Please, do you understand the concern that they have? Yeah, I, I, I would think that, uh, uh, there I, got, I got you now. Um, I would say that I don't think that's every officer's concern. Uh, I've met with the sheriff's department, uh, been in close talks with uh, even uh, CCPD. I know that they feel that uh, I n didn't mean it that way. So if someone wants to take it out of context, you're hearing it from me, that, that I would never, ever say anything like F the police. That's ridiculous. When I spoke with Commissioner Vaughn, you know, sure. obviously, and, and you know, Carolyn, she, she had, she was livid, she said about, you know, reading that, would you be willing to meet with county commissioners, kind of explain what happened, explain your side, and kind of just clear the air with everyone? Well, I, I haven't had an opportunity to speak to any of the commissioners. None of the commissioners have called me and questioned me and, or had any uh, concern as to what I do or do not post on social media. I'm sure they have important county matters they need to handle just the way I need to handle my matters here in the courthouse. Uh, but I'm happy to speak to anyone just the way I'm speaking to you guys. And, and you and I spoke about this last night on social media. And, and, and I know you want to try to stay true to yourself and, and sure. who you were before you were elected. But do you believe that elected officials in particular should hold themselves to a higher standard? I, I think that uh, we should hold ourselves to a, a d definitely we have a higher standard. Um, but when someone goes out there and attacks you, uh, and, and I call it an attack, they call me a thug, a cholo, uh, in the hood. I'm actually from the country, not the hood, but uh, you can say probably the same thing. Uh, but when you when you treat someone with lack of respect, I, I don't think it's uh, uh, any any big surprise that someone may feel attacked and, and respond with how they feel. Um, you know, every every uh, politician they're they're uh, an individual a person uh, and I'm, I'm no different and uh, at least I'm not gonna hide behind anything I say uh, I could say no comment I could not allow y'all to come and, and take any footage of this but I'm nothing to hide I'm not doing this for any ill reasons and, and I think the one question a lot of people have is why delete the post so quickly well um, okay so I mean <laughs> we're really gonna go through this I no 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 so uh, the the initial post was they shared my post right mm -hmm. and so I wanted to share all their text and if you look in the screenshot that it shows that I shared his text his text doesn't come out it doesn't show it I wanted to be able to see what people were writing about me but it didn't come out and if you look on the screenshot if I'm sharing his post it doesn't say any of the thing he where he calls me a gang member or he calls me a chicken the s word obviously uh, or that uh, I have the wrong reasons for my public service. Um, uh, it didn't show none of that. So that's why I deleted it. I was not scared of any other reason. You, go, you can look through all my history. I've never deleted anything that's on there. In fact, I'm sure in the 2020, they're going to use some of the things I said. And in fact, I'm, they're going to use probably some of the things that I put before I became an, into elected office. Um, it is what it is. But that's why it got deleted. That's the only reason. You can look at that picture. If I'm sharing his post, it doesn't show... Um, the, all the words that he had. So I was like, why am I going to share it again? I'm sharing my same video again. No, and I, and I saw that, and that is a perfectly understandable That's why I did what I did. <laughs> in the future, after, you know, in hindsight, now looking back at, at everything that this caused, 
will you be more careful about what you say on social media? My wife would want me to never have social media, uh, but I feel it's a way that we express what we're doing at our office. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's one way that we disclose what's going on with our office, the good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, I may not respond to people anymore, um, but uh, it's still business as usual. All right, excellent. I'm going to let you get in there. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate your time.